Okay, Happy New Year everybody. I hope you had a good one. It was nice to take some time out, spend some time with the family. I didn't really get a chance to upload because I've just been, you know, I've been trying to sort of focus my attentions on family time and also on Boxing Day. We went away for my birthday and spent a few days away, spent the time away, saw in the New Year um, over in Wales, Bunny Wales, and then came home and uh, I've just been back to work today, getting in the grind, getting back in the thick of it. But this was a tricky year for me, and kind of bittersweet because because this year I hit my big 4-0, 40 years old, oh my god, 40 years young, that's what I am, um, yeah, it's just, it's kind of bleak when you look at it in that way, you know, we were some, we was watching something on the telly the other day, and I said, oh my god, you know, there was a person on there, I said, they're looking really old, and, uh, and my mate turned around, and he said, yeah, that's because, you know, that was 10 years ago when you last seen them, and I was trying to think back, and I thought, oh, God, I was 30 then, now I'm 40, shit. It's, um, it's a horrible feeling, but you know what? I'm not different. I'm not any different apart from maybe I look a little bit older. As, uh, as far as my persona goes, I'm still the same old weird geeky guy that I always have been. So, yes, age is nothing but a number. My wife did turn around to me and she said, uh, she said oh, now you're 40, do you think you'll stop playing computer games as much? <laughs> oh, foolish woman. Foolish, foolish woman. The things they come out with, it's hilarious. Hilarious. Um, no chance. Now, I've come back and uh, I've sort of been catching up with a few YouTube videos, just seeing what the general sketch is, and kind of nothing's changed really. 2017 has to be a bigger year, and I think it will be a bigger year. There's going to be some pretty damn good titles coming out that's going to whet everybody's appetite for something a little bit different. There's some good horror titles coming out. The new Resident Evil looks amazing. I've been dying to play a, a decent Resident Evil since Resident Evil 4. Um, I've got, I believe, Resident Evil 5 on my on my hard drive. I haven't even touched it on my computer. It was free with the PlayStation 4 store. Um, so I haven't looked into that. Keep meaning to look into it, and then I'll just go off and play Battlefield. But um, Battlefield as well feels as though it's getting a little bit dry for me now. I'm, I'm, I need something new. Before Christmas, there was this whole great big update. One of the biggest updates I've ever seen on, a, on any game. It was kind of like, a, I think it was about a 12 gig update or something stupid like that. You know, about four hours downloading time. And there was, a, there was a lot of fixes and changes put into that, but some of the obvious ones were left out. You know, apparently there was a fix to the shotgun, which, you know, the, the model, the hunter version, still absolutely wipes me out from a, a, from a good distance. The sort of range on it, the accuracy on it, you don't need to have any of these things. You just need to sort of hit and hope almost, and it does exactly what you would expect. I suppose a, a shotgun in these games to do because they always it always feels like they get it wrong shotguns and pistols in first person shooters they always seem to get it's almost like the wrong way round you know they make them more powerful than some of the assault rifles and some of the light machine guns the light machine guns in Battlefield 1 are pretty they're pretty garbage to be fair you know I do like them and I'm trying to rank up my support class and um, it's proving to be a little bit awkward. Even throwing ammo boxes everywhere, it just seems ho so hard. It, uh, it feels for me at the moment the most hardest one to rank up. I don't know why. Um, the medic class was very easy for me. The sniper class was ridiculously easy. That was the first one I got to rank 10, but I seem to be struggling to get to rank 11. I need to find out what you need to do for that and, uh, and maybe do a video on it because I can't really see anything out there. But hey, that's, uh, that's just the way it is. But yeah, the shotguns seem to be... that They're almost outweighing everything the shotguns are still very very powerful as are some of the pistols it just seems whenever i come face to face with somebody and i've got an lmg and i'm firing on all four cylinders and they've just <laughs> you know they're sort of hip firing a pistol of some sort then the pistol wins and that bugs me a little bit because even though people say yeah but it's got to be powerful of course it has definitely but when somebody's running around using it as a primary you have to ask yourself the question you know so that's all i'm going to say about that but the one thing i still have major issues with and it's almost stopping me from playing domination in fact i'm going to categorically say that domination is my favorite game type as of now but i don't play it for the simple fact that the spawns are so bad i mean so bad you know i've never seen a battlefield with spawns as bad as this and i know battlefield has had its problems in the past but the spawns on battlefield one are monumentously bad 
I mean, take for example, the other day I spawned in a gas cloud. <laughs> I spawned in gas. So before I even had a chance to put the gas mask on, I was down to about 20% of my life. And then straight after that, I spawned in the line of fire. There was a, obviously there was a guy who I spawned inside of him on my team who was engaged in a gunfight. And as soon as I spawned, I died. Then also I've spawned underneath a mortar strike from, a, from one of the opposition who's carefully planted his mortars directly on top of a roof in the desert where somebody may have been camping on my team. I spawned there. He took me out with a mortar shell. You know, and it goes on and on. And people have spawned in front of me. You know, I've been shooting at somebody and somebody spawned there or two people have spawned directly in front of him and uh, they haven't had a clue what's going on and I've just mowed them down in a flurry of bullets. I don't know why they can't fix that. There's, there's very little options. You know, when you want to spawn back in, you can kind of see the circles of where it offers you once upon a time in battlefield um battlefield 3 realistically you used to be able to see what was actually going on before you spawned in so you could see the uh, the mayhem that was occurring there was a little box where you could see the action and think oh god i'm not going in there all you get on this is a little circle and it says you know under heavy fire or something like that so you think okay i'll give that a little bit of time and then that clears the fog clears so you think okay i'm going straight in and uh where you think you've chosen it doesn't actually spawn you at that point that you chose it seems to put you on somebody else and they're in a bit of trouble so straight away you're in the line of sight of somebody else you're dead and that's where the foul and abusive language continues so they have to fix the spawns it's an absolute must these maps are so big you need to maybe not just have one option maybe about four to five different options so that you know if you've got that variation and you do choose somebody and you end up choosing the wrong person on your head beat and you've got nobody else to blame but yourself it was just a kind of toss of the luck you know so yeah that's all i'm going to say about battlefield it is getting a little bit dull i am still enjoying it but i'm just finding it's sort of wearing thin a bit now and i'm either hungry for something else to be put into it i know they did give us that extra map and that's fine it's a fun map i do like that but i think we need some more we need some dlc we need some extra bits we need some extra guns there needs not to be too greedy sounding but we need something else and i think a lot of people will agree with me on that apocalypse done